Today, we'll talk about a topic which many of us would have heard about it, that is thalassemia. So, what actually is thalassemia? Can we cure thalassemia? What is the future care and support for it. In simple words to start up with, thalassemia is a heterogeneous group of blood disorders characterized by decreased ability to produce the hemoglobin and thereby resulting in significant anemia. It is an inherited genetic blood disorder, which means that both the parents must be carrier for this gene and it would have been transmitted to the offspring. Now, what are the clinical manifestations and symptoms? So that can vary depending on the type of thalassemia, and the severity of the disease. The most common presentation being a significant paler or jaundice, paler requiring a blood transfusion therapy and abnormal growth of the bones, skeletal deformities, bony defects, extramedullary hematopoiesis resulting in enlargement of liver and the spleen, uh, significant compromise in the growth and development of the child and as they grow up into adolescent life, various endocrinopathies being setting in. How do you evaluate it? So the evaluation basically would include a complete hemogram with red cell indices, HB electrophoresis or HPLC confirms the diagnosis and DNA mutational analysis is the gold standard, the diagnostic confirmatory test. The treatment, the management mainly again depends upon the severity of the disease. Most of the children would uh, need a chronic transfusion therapy that is needing of the blood every monthly or as the age progresses maybe sometimes even three to two weekly as well. This is in order to have a normal growth and development and keep the extra medullary hematopoiesis under check. Later need for iron chelators in order to avoid the iron toxicity because of the blood transfusion. Regular calcium and other micronutrient supplements would be needed. Bone marrow transplant that is a hematopoietic stem cell transplant is the definitive curative option for this and this can eliminate the need for lifelong blood transfusion. Uh, obviously it uh, depends upon the HLA matching a full match, a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 match with the donor would have the best outcomes. So with the continued support, psychological support, social support all throughout, we can ensure that these children have a near normal life. A multidisciplinary approach and an active collaboration between the team members would help a long way in achieving the best outcomes. By a genetic counseling, a regular awareness, educational programs and collective screening programs would help us ensure that every child who is born is born free from this preventable disease and thereby we can decrease the burden of this disease. Thank you.